I'm Hanson Clark, and this is a picture of my first cousin Olivette Clark who was taken just a few years ago. She was my closest blood relative. But back in late 2012, my cousin died of an overdose from taking prescription painkillers and alcohol. My cousin had been depressed for a long time. She had lost her job. And soon after her mother passed away, she was found in her home, collapsed on the floor unconscious. She was taken to receiving hospital where she had no heartbeat, but the doctors were able to revive her. However, she was in a vegetative state on life support for seven days before she passed away. This is no way for her to live or die. I didn't share this issue with anyone because I was ashamed about my family's history of alcoholism and drug abuse. And also at that time I was a U.S. congressman, I was working to try to help people solve their problems. I was so focused on that work that I was in denial about my cousin's own struggle with addiction. And what I learned from this is that the emotional stress that we have to go through many times causes a physical pain so severe that people like my cousin have to turn to drugs and substances in order to cope with that pain and numb it. My message to you is this. If you have a friend or loved one who is struggling with addiction, please don't blame them. Please don't judge them. Just help them get treatment. Drug abuse is not a sign of weakness. It's a symptom of a chronic disease, just like hypertension and diabetes. The person who is sick, they need treatment. And the other message I want to share with you is that even though prescription drugs are legal, they are dangerous, they can kill you if you abuse them. Please only use these medications as prescribed and keep your pills locked up so that other people won't steal them and abuse them. And while you have the chance, while your loved one is still alive, to help them heal from the disease of addiction, show them that you support them. Not enabling them, but show them that you love them and that you love them unconditionally. Thank you for listening to my message.